Routing your board in SOLIDWORKS PCB can be a quick and easy process with the help of several interactive routing features. Before we get started, it's always best practice to set up your design rules for a worry-free design experience. To do this, we'll select the Home tab and then choose Design Rules. On the Design Rule panel, we'll configure our routing width settings and leave the rest of the options set at their default. With your design rules configured, you can now focus on routing your board while staying in full compliance with your specific manufacturing constraints. There are two methods to begin the interactive routing process. The first is to select the Home tab and then select Route and choose Interactive Routing. The shortcut method for the same process is HHH. Now that we are in Interactive Routing mode, we can start routing traces on our board. You can cycle through the corner modes using shift, space. In our example, we'll do this until we get the 45 degree angle mode, which can be seen in the status bar at the bottom of the screen. You'll notice that our trace is pushing all of the other traces in its way, which isn't desirable at the present moment. To change routing modes, we'll press shift R to switch to hug and push to finish the routing. Once we've finished routing, we can exit the interactive routing mode by right-clicking or pressing Escape. We've got some differential pairs that we need to route on our board. To configure our differential pairs, we'll select the View tab and then choose the Differential Pairs Editor option under the PCB icon. Selecting Add will allow you to add a new differential pair. Let's assign some positive and negative nets a name, and then let's select OK to save the differential pair. Before we begin, let's make sure we are on the correct layer. We'll select the top layer tab at the bottom of our workspace, and then enter single layer mode by pressing Shift S. This will clear out all the objects not on our current layer, providing us with a clear view of where we need to route our tracks. We can now go back in a routing mode to start routing again. Select the Home tab, Route, then Differential Pair Routing. To finish up our routing, we're going to do some multi-track routing. We'll first select the nets we want to route, and then select Multiple Traces from the Route menu. Clicking on one of the pads will automatically make all the selected traces appear and ready to route all at once. Spacing between the tracks can be increased or decreased by pressing the period and comma keys. When reviewing your routing, you might find yourself needing to redefine a path. There's no need to unroute an existing connection. Simply click the Route button and start routing the new path. The Loop Removal feature in SOLIDWORKS PCB will automatically remove any duplicate track segments and vias once the loop is closed. Once you've finished, you can right-click or press Escape to exit the routing mode. Similar to the rerouting process, rearranging paths can be done automatically without needing to modify existing connections. To rearrange an existing route, hold and drag the trace to your desired location. The PCB editor will automatically maintain the 45 degree angles that you've established with your connection segments. If you prefer to automate your routing process, you can use the auto routing feature in SOLIDWORKS PCB. This will automatically route all of the nets on your design and can be enabled in the Tools tab. Select the Auto Route icon, then choose All to bring up the Strategies panel. From here, you can select your desired routing strategy and then select Route All to begin the auto routing process.